Hi, God. Thanks for the shine. Hello, people. I'm one of the people. Bit three. Let's hang out, man. Okay, so we're still knocking out affidavit of God's creation, okay? So check this out. We're just going to go ahead and jump off into it, okay? So here we go for bit three, and then we're going to have a word drop, okay? And it's going to say claim. Claim is to call, right? Call out, right? From K-E-L-E, which means to shout, okay? So when you make a claim, you're calling and you're shouting. It's also like you're praying, okay? Because pray means to ask, all right? So check out these words right here. This is so much fun. It says, Affiant claims that God formed man from dust, okay? See evidence below, right? Then we got that maximum of God, seven. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul, okay? So then basically that's how God created man, okay? So what you see right here is how our forefathers were created, right? You know, so Adam and Eve were hanging out, but before they were hanging out, God was like, I'm just going to make man, and he made, he formed man, right? So God formed man, you know, and that's why I'm a creature of God, right? So I am one of God's creations. Therefore, God is my creator. God is my master, okay? So we're going to pair this up now with something that happens in man's world, okay? You know, so check this out. So we're hanging out in that San Diego mojo right now, and then we got this bit right here where it's going to say to the family fun fact by god the people are creators and masters of government with love okay question are you happy with how that your government servants perform question mark right so we're going to constantly be asking this question right because you know the I know that I have not been happy with how my government has been performing. And because I lack knowledge before and I did not know how to instruct my government, now that I know how to instruct my government, now I need to get other people to associate with us. And then that way we can show them also how to instruct the government. And then everything's going to be cool again, man. You know, this is just how it has to go every now and then, right? It's because, you know, when the knowledge is hidden from you, then you have to get the knowledge back. And then once you get the knowledge back, then you have to go and share all the knowledge with all the people, right? You know, so. So we're going to show you some proof right here, right? So we're going to have on the screen where it's going to say, please take notice that by almighty God, thank you, God, people are creators and masters of constitutions. See evidence below. Okay. Then we got that California constitution preamble, right? So before we walk, we always have a preamble in all constitutions, which are trust indentured contracts with all of our public entities, right? This is what it says before we walk, right? You know, so this is letting you know who the creator is, okay? It says we, the people of the state of California or whatever other state you're in, right? Grateful to almighty God for our freedom in order to secure and perpetuate its blessings do establish this constitution, okay? That's what we did, right? You know, so that's why the people are the ones who establish the Constitution, right? And then we put our public servants in there for them to manage it, okay? So basically, when you think about the government, the government is essentially just a big homeowners association, right? That might be hard for people to understand, right? You know, and I know why, because people don't even know how to manage their own homeowners association, right? So, you know, go figure they don't know how to manage their government, right? You know, but it's the same, same, right? You know, because there's a Constitution and within the Constitution, there are bylaws and within their bylaws that's how you're supposed to operate right you know so all public servants have a duty and an obligation to serve the people okay and most of our public servants don't know that why because most of the people act like they are the servants of the public servant man and then that's just how it's been going on right you know at least since i've been on this plane right and i've been on this plane for at least 40 something years right you know and then when i try to talk to people about this and i try to show them the law you know this is what i get i get looks like this where they're like they just say they don't wish to see it right or you know i get looks like this not looks but when i speak and then i, I try to tell them they're like la 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 i don't hear you right because i may not like the way that you speak or i get this one right here right see this they don't even want to say anything they just sit there quiet like i won't even respond right you know so 
when you try to show the people their power, right, you know, it's like, I know, I know it's a huge responsibility because you have to be the boss, right? And most people don't know how to be the boss, right? The reason why I can say this is because, you know, look at how many people defer to someone else to say, you know, like example, you know, they go to a doctor to show, to have the doctor tell them how to take care of their body, right? Because they have not been taught how to take care of their body. And then when their body gets damaged, then they have to go to someone, which you call a professional who operates in the commercial jurisdiction, right? So all doctors operate in the commercial jurisdiction. That's why they have to go and do all those things that they have to do, right? You know, so we can create private entities, you know, and then you can get the same type of care, right? You know, if you wish to care for your body in the private, right? But if most people only understand the public jurisdiction, and that's why they have to go to an MD, a medical doctor, right? But whenever you go and you look at how they're created, right, you know, they fall under the jurisdiction of the government, right? You know, so if you fall under the jurisdiction of the government, then that means we the people are your boss, right? You know, so so when the people go and they speak to the doctors and they're like, well, you help me, right? You know, the doctors have specific rules that they can only follow, right? And if they step outside of the, those boundaries because they're in the commercial jurisdiction, you know, then, you know, bad things happen to them. You know, sometimes they get sued, you know, and most doctors fear that. And that's why they have insurance and their insurance is through the roof because they're operating in the commercial jurisdiction, right? You know, so this is why when we talk to them, and we say, hey, doctor man, or hey, doctor woman, would you like to talk to us in the private? They do this. <laughs> They're like, la, 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 I don't see you. I don't see you. Right. Because they are in fear. Right. Because they've never heard anything like this before. They don't know that there's different jurisdictions, even though that they operate in different jurisdictions. You know, it's like it's like we had to create, you know, this is a segue. Like we had to create um, uh, when I used to work in the healthcare industry, we had to create create different schemes and different systems in order for for the people for the people called patients to be protected right you know example so you had to call a timeout before you ever did an operation right so because you had to do this you had to say time out are we doing what we're supposed to be doing and then they went off a checklist they got this from the airplane industry right you know so before the airplane industries and the and the pilots would take off they would have to do a checklist and a timeout to see that you know where all systems go before they flew right you know so you had to do that in the operating room you still do that in the operating room and then there's a whole system where they go, time out. Are we doing this, 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 this and that? And everybody has to go, yes, we are. Yes, we are. And then they give the thumbs up and then you go and then you get to operate on this vessel right here called, you know, the man or the woman. Right. You know, so because there were so many failures within the system, because, you know, the people who were doing these these procedures they, they didn't have a very high level, right? They didn't have a very high level of their fiduciary responsibility of what it was that they were working on, meaning one of the men or one of the women, right? You know, so because they don't know how to operate as a fiduciary, right? They only know how to operate as whatever their title is, right? You know, so we are a fiduciary of God's property, of God's body, right? So we know that we have a very, very high standard that God has given us in order for us to manage God's property. And because of that, we now have to go and we have to manage all of the people's property because the people don't know how to manage their property and this is why we're always trying to get you to associate right and then unite right because then once you can do that you're going to be free right but until then man you know we're just going to keep walking it out and then talking it out just showing like you know how how God's or the affidavit of God's creation is done, right? Because, you know, once you see how God created this whole world that we live in, that we can play in, right, then you're going to understand why you have a duty and an obligation to make sure that it's managed properly. Okay, we're done. How are we doing on time? We're cool on time. You know, so that's it, man. You know, so we got that bit three right now. So we're calling. This is our claim, man. You know, so we're putting it up now. We're building this bit by bit. Okay, so we're going to put this together. We're going to upload it and we're going to see how it flows. I'll talk to you guys in the future. Remember, nobody's having more fun than us. Bye.